the thing that pisses me off, I have no idea what this video is supposed to be about, <laughs> but it'll be an opportunity to say this, is um, the fact that we spend money on advertising to reduce people's drinking while um, alcohol companies spend money on advertising to increase people's drinking. And obviously the amount of money spent on beer ads is always going to be greater than the about amount of money spent on responsible drinking ads. <laughs> So as a result, the responsible drink, drinking ads are always going to lose to the beer ads, and um, we're always going to have problems with binge drinking. So I feel like I've cracked the code, like I've cracked many codes before, if we just banned alcohol advertising, so much money would be saved by everyone, I reckon. The government would save money on um, anti-drink driving, or well, they'd, they'd spend less on drink driving ads, I reckon. They'd spend less on those year nah ads, and um, uh, and yeah, beer companies would save a lot of money as well. It'd be, it would be... The circle of life, that would be a flawless plan. The other plan I solved was smoking while we're at it. Um, if they just ban smoking right now, like for everyone born in, what year are we in? 2014? If they banned every smoker, every person born at born 2014 is not allowed to smoke, then eventually we'd have no more smoking. We'd have no more ads starring um, John O'Prior, who was smoking when he did his anti-smoking ad. We'd have no more wasting money on anti-smoking ads either, because we would um, have smoking solved. And if you if you're born uh, if you smoke at the moment, keep on smoking until you die, which will probably be sh soon because you smoke. Is that is that? Am I in the ballpark of what we're supposed to be talking about? <laughs>